The excited calls came into police and TV stations, people reporting UFOs over Phoenix, Arizona. And here's what they saw. Glowing orbs flowing high in the air. But it turns out these were just military flares dropped over the Barry Goldwater Air Force Range to light up targets. Well, there have been a rash of UFO sightings over the last few months from Arizona all the way up to Maine. Maybe the most dramatic, several witnesses who reported a UFO hovering over Chicago O'Hare Airport back in November. So what the heck is going on in our skies? Mark Saxonmeyer of our Chicago affiliate WFLD takes a look. To the north in Antioch, it comes to Linda Von Henke's door. I sort of like sent him a message with the flashlights let him know I'm watching him. To the west, off I-88, this man snapped a photo of it as he drove to his home in Westmont. It kind of looked like you took a building and knocked it over and it was flying around. And to the south, in Tinley Park... I got it on tape! I got it! It has perplexed uh -huh. T.J. Jabcon. And so I turned around and I looked up and I'm like, no way. I'm like, no way. For nearly six years. They're back. But never fear, inside this Orland Park apartment, Sam Moranto is on the case. Did you see that? Right here, there. Moranto is the Illinois director of the Mutual UFO Network. It doesn't take much to realize that there's something truly substantial and genuine to this phenomenon. Moranto has been especially busy ever since a UFO was spotted over O'Hare last November. He's been interviewing reluctant witnesses who won't go public with their accounts. These are not crackpots. Still, he admits most, if not all, of the photos of the UFO that have since surfaced on the internet probably aren't legitimate. Absolutely insane. But back to this. I've gone through this probably about 10 times. Hours of home video from various South Suburbanites. Oh There's airplanes along with them. Look at that. All shooting the same hovering light configuration as TJ Jabcon back in 2001. Perfect triangle form. That's when you're like, wow, what is this thing? Ken and Sherry Gunaka saw it in Oak Forest. Not a single sound. No noise at all. Is it above top secret reverse engineered technology? Possibly. That's a hoax. It's a hoax being perpetrated on people. Astronomer Mark Hammergren believes these lights are nothing more than... Flares suspended below weather balloons. Nobody wants to, be, to say to people that there's no Santa Claus. Hammergren also has bad news for Linda Von Henke and her family. I'm waiting for it to, to either come on down or... Or, or take me on up, or whatever it wants to do. I'm, <laughs> it's breathtaking. This is the planet Venus. Then there's this guy. <laughs> they told me I'm nuts. Asking to remain anonymous, even though he too insists what he saw was a UFO. Do you any know any big, giant, square, rectangular, looking blimps that move like with the speed of a fighter plane? Humans make extraordinarily poor witnesses. But they still believe. I saw what I saw. Period. If you can't control it, kill it or conceal it, okay, entirely, you have to deny it. In the end, does it really matter whether or not these UFO sightings can be explained away? After all, wouldn't that take away all the mystery, the intrigue, and the fun of it? Mark Saxonmeyer, Fox News, Chicago. <laughs>